Hi, and welcome back to getting started with Semaphore. So far, we've created our first pipeline and we've also added tests to it. In this video, we will learn how to add continuous delivery to that. We will be using the workflow builder to set up deploys to two different environments, and we will also learn about promotions and deployment strategies. So if you're ready, let's get started. So this is where we left off last time. We've set up our initial pipeline and we've added tests to it. Now let's click on the edit workflow button over here and go to our workflow builder. So here you can see that we have two sections. One is initial pipeline on the left and one contains after pipeline jobs and promotions. Today we will be checking out promotions. Through promotions, we can set up continuous delivery on semaphore and with that, we can manage multiple release targets, implement any deployment strategy, perform rollbacks, manage infrastructure, and also automate any DevOps task with a full log of who did what and when. And let's try to set up our first promotion right now. So let's add our promotions now. We're going to be adding two. One is going to be called staging and the second one is going to be called production. So let's add the staging promotion right now. When we click on the add promotion button, you can see that another pipeline shows up and this pipeline will get triggered after the initial pipeline flow goes through. So let's name this promotion staging deployment and we are going to enable automatic promotion here, which means that this will be triggered automatically after the pipeline finishes successfully. So let's click here and here we can actually set up when this gets triggered on which branch. We're going to set the branch to set up minus semaphore because we're currently located on the setup semaphore branch. And this is basically it, what we need to set up in order for the promotion to get triggered. So inside this pipeline, if we click on the first block, we can name this block deployment to staging. And here we can add the job that deploys our application to staging. So let's just name it deploy. And here we can issue our first command deploying to staging. And you can see that with the staging deployment, there's this icon here called A, which basically means that this is an automatic promotion. It will get triggered each time we push something to the setup minus semaphore branch. So let's click on run the workflow and on looks good start to save our changes and see our workflow triggered. You can see that the initial pipeline flow gets triggered and after it will go through, the promotions part should light up. You can see here that right now it's been auto promoted, which means that the job was just triggered. So we can click on this and see that the deployment to staging pipeline was triggered. And if we click on this, we can see the log that said deploying to staging. So we've set up our first promotion, which deploys to staging automatically. And now we're going to set up the production promotion, which will deploy to our production environment. Okay, let's click on the edit workflow button again. And we are going to add another promotion that's called production deployment. And for this one, we're not going to enable automatic promotion, which means that someone will need to manually trigger it once the workflow has successfully finished. So let's edit this block here and just name it production deploy and name the job deploy. And in here, we're going to echo deploying to production. And now let's save this workflow. Let's click on looks good start and save our changes and what's happening now is you can see that our initial pipeline gets triggered again and now it's going to go through the test section and afterwards the staging deployment should trigger automatically which we've set up you can see that it was just auto promoted but the production deployment is a manual process. You can see we haven't set up 
for it to be promoted automatically. And if we click on production deployment, we can also click on start promotion here, which means that the job will get triggered. So you can see that with this process, we've set up two different deployments to two different environments. One gets triggered automatically, which is really useful for testing environments, while the second one needs to be triggered manually, which is what we usually do for production. We've just successfully set up continuous delivery to two different environments. Join us in our next video where we will talk about environment variables and secrets and how to include them in our deployments. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Discord community. The links are down below. So see you next time.